Hey guys, this is Johanna from Magic Bookshelf and I am here to do my June wrap up video. Um, if you guys seen my TBR June video, you'd know that I wanted to sort of break my record and I kind of did. I read around, um, I think 17 or 18 books, not sure. Um, I'll just show them to you right now and they're kind of a lot so I'm just going to go really quickly um, with them. Uh, they're not going to be in order and I'm just going to talk about how much I like them and that's it because there's a lot. First book. And they're not in order, so yeah. Was Glitch, I'm sorry so much for the glare, it's horrible, I know. By Heather Anastasio. Ansta I'm so sorry. Anyways, this book is a dystopian and it talks about a world where there are no secrets, where um, there's sort of like a chip um, over here and it tells you exactly how you behave, people don't have emotions, and um, I did not read a lot of good reviews for this book so I was kind of hesitant reading it but it was amazing I loved it there was sort of insta love but it was done in such a way that I actually liked it you know how I hate insta love and it was really good for me I gave it four stars and I would seriously recommend it to all dystopian lovers next book is Insignia by S.J. Kincaid um, this book is a futuristic um, dystopian uh, world where um, there's, it, it's currently set in World War Three. however, people, countries are not fighting each other, but big companies, so there's also, there's the American Hindu companies and the, um, the Russo-Chinese companies, and they're not fighting inside Earth, they're fighting outside. They're fighting for the solar system, like Mars, um, Neptune, Jupiter, whatever, and there's no deaths, people don't die, and it's a bit confusing, but it was pretty interesting. Um, the guy basically gets recruited into to you know start operating the, sh the machines that are fighting in the solar system, and uh, I found this book pretty interesting, and I gave it four stars. This month has been a very good month, even though I read, I read a lot of books. Next book that I read was *The Fault in Our Stars* by John Green, and um, right now I'm on vacation, so I don't actually have the physical book. But basically, every single person that talked to me and found out I'm reading it told me to you know. Put, bes put beside me like a ba uh, box of tissues because I'm gonna cry. However, I did not cry at all. I don't know why. It was sad, but I think it's because I expected it to be very sad. Even though I'm such a crybaby, I have no idea why I didn't cry. It was sad, but it was more like realistic, so it's kind of like bittersweet. And um, it was a really good book, even though it's a cancer book. Um, the patients, and but the thing is that the protagonist, the, all the people that she's friends with, are also cancer patients so you don't feel the whole people giving pitying her and stuff like that and they're pretty funny and sarcastic and so I found it was a pretty good book and I gave it four stars. Next book was All These Lies by Sarah Wiley. This book talks about a also a cancer patient but the main protagonist is the sister of the twin sister of that cancer patient and um, it was a pretty good book. I found it like a a family uh, sort of book and um, I gave it um, four stars. Next book, they're not really in order. I read Hourglass but I'm just gonna talk about Time Piece now. It's Time Piece by Myra McIntyre. Um, I got this off Net Galley and this is told from a different POV from the first book. It's actually told from one of the secondary characters in the first book. I was pretty not that into it at the beginning but towards the end it was good but still I prefer Hourglass. I gave this four stars though. Next book that I read is Monument 14 by Amy Laybourne. This book is amazing. It's a survival um, post-apocalyptic novel and I, I'm a huge fan of survival books right now. I've read a lot of them. And this one talks about a bunch of kids and with also little kids that get uh, locked in a superstore where they have to survive. Outside there's been nuclear leakings um, and people get re react depending on their blood type. Um, there's been also earthquakes. Um, um, a lot of things and I found it to be um, a pretty fast-paced and thrilling novel and I gave it five stars. Next book was A Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Keplinger. I love this book. I, I just love Cody Keplinger. I've read every single one of her books. She has three books. Um, this one, uh, Shout, uh, uh, Shout Out and The Duff. And I think this one would be my favorite book out of all of them. And um, 
it talks about a girl, oh, you know, her parents are divorced and her dad gets engaged and she was supposed to spend her summer before going to college with her dad and then she finds out he's engaged to this woman who has two kids and one of them is a guy her age and you get, you understand where the story, you know, goes from there. And I, I really liked it and um, it wasn't just like fluff, there's also like, you know, the family issues with her dad and I even like cried a bit in the end. It's not sad, but it was just, it was um, a bit sad, you know, in that part, but it was a good ending. And I gave it five stars. I think it was like an all-time favorite. Not sure. But yeah, next book is Knee Deep by Jolene B. Perry. This book was another really good contemporary that I gave five stars. This book talks about a girl who is in a relationship with this guy that she's known ever since she was a kid. But then um, due to some stress he's, had, he's got from his father, you know, the work and, the over and his overload, overloading on work and stuff. He starts to physically abuse her by like holding her arm too tight and bruising her or like hitting her shoulder and, and stuff like that and it's not just like the physical abuse but also like the mental abuse and um, it was pretty um, it was a pretty good book and it was very realistic and I would seriously recommend this book to all girls. It's it's a pretty good book and I really loved it and again same thing for Cody Keplinger applies to Jolene Perry. I love every single one of her books. Night Sky, this one, which is Knee Deep, and also um, The Boys Next Door. Um, love them all. She's an amazing uh, contemporary author. Next book is The Raft by S.A. Um, sorry, Bodine. This book is another survival book, and this basically shows why. Like, this shows how much why I love survival books. This is set in a, in a raft called The Raft, uh, where a girl is stuck in the raft with another guy who's the co-pilot um, because there's a plane crash and um, only both of them survive, even though it's like a cargo plane, the, the primary pilot does not survive and they used to survive and she has to go um, days, you know, in the, in the raft and having to survive and stuff and all that and, and you know, like, the whole setting is just her on the raft with the co-pilot and it was so good. I read this in the airplane. So imagine it's like an airplane cl crashed while I was on a seven hour airplane. So, um, yeah, ironic, but I really enjoyed it. It was interesting and I gave it five stars. I told you I love the books for this month. Next book is The Forbidden Territory by Melissa Pearl and Brenda Housen. This book, again, is a contemporary slash survival. Survival in the sense that um, these, bunch of, these bunch of teenagers go uh, geocaching. I don't know if you guys know what geocaching is, but you basically use a GPS and you log into the site and you have to follow these grids and these, um, I don't know what you call them, and basically people bury things there and you find them, you have to search for them, find them, and then take out whatever is in them, put whatever you want in there. And it's like a sort of like a game that everyone can play around the world. And um, somehow they find um, um, a weed, like plant, people, like a whole like vast open area that's where weed is being um, grown. And these um, like um, armed people find them and then, you know, they have to run away from them and all that stuff and they get captured and they have to you know, escape, blah, blah, blah. It was pretty interesting. I gave it four stars. Next book is Hourglass by Maya McIntyre. As I told you guys, I love this way more than Timepiece. I, um, I really, really loved, um, um, wow, I forgot their names. I read too many books. But I really loved the um, development between the two characters, and I also liked the paranormal aspect, even though it came a bit late in the book. But yeah, and I gave it four and a half, five stars. Next book is Saving Zoe by Alison Noel. This book is about a girl whose sister um, gets murdered and her her ex-boyfriend um, gives her um, her sister's diary and she basically starts reading the diary and, you know, getting to know her sister. And um, yeah, it was just contemporary. It was good. Um, I gave it three and a half stars. Next book that I read was Rosebush by Michelle Jaffe, and this book is a um, mystery girl loses her memory after she was found, like, half dead in the bushes, and she's trying to find out who is, who tried to kill her, and the thing is the person is still trying to kill her, she gets, like, these cryptic messages, these scary messages, but everyone thinks that she's, like, hallucinating because of the amount of drugs that she has, you know, because she's still at the hospital and stuff, and it was pretty creepy. 
and you cannot, you will never expect who the kill, uh, the you know supposed um, 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 killer is. And um, it was a pretty good, good, a pretty good book, and I gave it four stars. Next book that I read is Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler. And this is supposedly an ice skating book. I was pretty disappointed in Sarah Ockler since I loved her 20 Boy Summer series, but this one just didn't do it for me. And, um, I don't know, it was... I did not like the protagonist. She was very whiny, she didn't know what she wanted, and she complained a lot. She never expected that her mother, that everything that her mother did was for her, and it kind of annoyed me. And I think I gave it two and a half, or three, I'm not sure. Next book that I read was Cecilia Gray's Fall For You, which is book number one in the Jane Austen Academy novel. This book is more middle grade, but I did enjoy it because it was a bit different from the usual um, retellings of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. So it was pretty cute, and I gave it three stars. Whew. There's more! I'm sorry, I know it's long. Next book is The Ivy, and it is by Lauren Coons and with Rena Honor. And I've, a lot of people love this book. It's set in Harvard, so it's more like... It, everyone keeps on saying it's a cross between Gilmore Girls, which I loved, and Gossip Girl, which is okay. But I didn't really enjoy it that much. The protagonist, again, was kind of annoying. There were too many guys. I don't know. I just didn't like it. And it was okay in the end. I gave it three stars. Next book is a book that I'm reading right now. No, wait, sorry. There's two more books that I read. And one of them is Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. And I love this book so much. First 90 pages were a bit um, slow, took me a while to get through them. I know someone who actually stopped reading them before reaching, you know, passing 90 pages, so I told her to continue reading it because it gets so much better. But I gave it 5 stars. It was, like, amazing. And I cannot wait for, um, what is it called? Forever the Night? Under the Forever Night? No, wait. Something like that, but the cover came out and it's amazing. And the last book that I read was Smart Girls Get What They Want by Sarah Stormeyer and June ended with a bang because this book was amazing. I finished it in less than a day, like all I did, I read it in one sitting. It was that good and I, it's like up to the Anna and the French Kiss level. Like this is how I loved it. And it talks about smart girls. We need books to talk, we need more books about smart girls because yeah, a lot of us are smart girls so yeah. I loved how Sarah Stromeyer talked about them, and it was awesome. Awesome. You need to read this. So yeah, now the book that I'm reading right now... Oh wait, this is like a, a July book. Okay, so these are all the books. I know it's like 13 minutes, and I'm really sorry, and that's it. Uh, link you below. Talk to me. Whatever. Bye.